Hello. We wanted to give you a short update on where things are with the property purchase as we start the month of July. Two weeks or so ago, I was on the island of Arran um, leading a walking retreat and we stayed a night um, on a saddle at about 600 metres height. I woke early in the morning at 4.15 and I climbed 200 metres up to the peak to watch the sunrise. I sat there in this beautiful spot watching the sunrise over the mainland of Scotland, the reflection across the Firth of Clyde, and it was just a beautiful, awe-inspiring moment. I could look back down at the, the tents way below us, and I could even look down Glen Rosa, where we'd walked the previous day, all the way down the long valley, right the way back to the port town of Brodick. I could look back and see the entire route that we'd taken on the previous day. And it was lovely actually to see the various stages that we'd walked and to think of the, the pools where we'd swam, um, the places that were long and steep, but I could see all the stages of the journey. I realised that, that moments like that are actually fairly rare when you're walking. Most of the time, you're looking down at your feet. You're looking up for stones and, and obstacles in the way, and you're kind of plodding step by step. You don't actually have those big panoramic views very often. And when you do have them, they're really precious. I think our faith journey is a little bit like that, but actually every stage of the journey is significant. This week, interestingly, we've been struck, Miranda and I, as we've been reading and talking, we've been struck by the repetition of the word stages. Abraham, we're told in, in Genesis 12, journeyed by stages towards the Negev. And the exact same word is used in Numbers 33, when Moses is writing about the stages that the people of Israel took in crossing through the wilderness. It tells us that he wrote down their stages according to their starting points. And there's a whole chapter where every single stage of their 40 year journey is written down. It's interesting that the people of Israel might have thought they were wandering aimlessly in the wilderness, but actually they were being led step by step, stage by stage. And every stage counted, every stage was important. I came across a beautiful phrase um, around Easter time when we were reading a book of Lent poems and thoughts by the author Malcolm Geit. And he said, wherever I am in my wilderness journey, I'm not alone. He walks with me. I think we can look back on this three year pilgrimage of our own in trusting God for this property and we can see the various stages. Often it's felt like we're a bit lost. We're looking down at our feet, we're struggling with the obstacles. And it's really encouraging when you get to a vantage point and you can look back and see the overview of the journey. But whether we realise it or not, God has been with us every stage of the journey and every stage has been significant. In every stage, there have been life lessons we're learning. God has been doing things in us and in the people that are also involved in this journey. So it's encouraging right now to have a kind of a vantage point and to look back and see what God has been doing. In fact, this week alone, there's been some really significant milestones which have been encouraging. A few days ago, we signed the new deposit agreement on the property and we paid the remainder of a 10% deposit. On the same day, actually, we received into our bank account a large donation which was pledged to us one year ago. And it's taken time for the pledge to come through. But on the this week, that pledge came through and that was a significant moment. And also this week, we finally finished setting up Place of Springs as a local charity in Spain. This is a real milestone moment for us. It's taken many, many months and lots of paperwork to get to this point. So we're really grateful right now that we can look back and see where we've come from. And if you've been walking with us on this journey, thank you for standing with us. Um, it feels like we're on the cusp of things. Um, in this last month, we applied for a mortgage and it was actually granted, amazingly. We were very grateful. But what we actually discovered soon afterwards, the, the mortgage grant is only valid for seven weeks and the tenant in the property is not moving out until the end of September, which means that this mortgage, app, mortgage grant um, won't be valid then. And so we're going to have to reapply for the mortgage um, in late August. But anyway, it's encouraging that the mortgage was offered and we're trusting that the same mortgage will be given again in two months time. So as you're praying for us, please would you pray that the mortgage would be offered a second time. Um, what was offered was 120,000 euros. This actually did leave a shortfall of around 10 to 20,000. So we're still trusting God for those remaining funds. Um, if you feel called in any way to give or to offer loans, 
um, right now. That would be amazing. It would also mean that we would be able to apply for a slightly smaller mortgage, which would make it even more likely it would be offered this second time. Um, thank you for standing with us. Please pray that the mortgage would be granted. Please pray that the tenant would move out <laughs> at the end of September and that we would be able to complete at the end of September. Um, and thank you for your prayers. And, and really pray, I think, that in these final, hopefully, final stages of the journey, we would be very aware of God's presence with us, leading us and guiding us each step of the way. We really do appreciate you walking with us. Um, if you want to pray specifically, we are actually going to have a prayer day next week. I'll put details of that in this email. We'd love it if you could join us on Zoom to pray for an hour. Um, if you want to donate, there will be ways in this email that you can do so. Bless you and thank you for walking with us.